Hey, hey friends, hope you're doing well this morning. Just want to pop on to show you how I make molasses coffee. This is something that is something I make at least once a week because it's a way for to help with my iron levels and just keeping everything really healthy and well. So I'm going to show you the different ingredients that I use. It's super crazy simple. So, all right, let me flip this around here. And by the way, I'm on retreat. Do you not see this? We're in Florida. The setup is amazing. You can say hey. Hey. Yeah, the setup is amazing. The beach is out there. There's oils galore. There's a Ningxia bar. It's just crazy, plus a Berkey. Okay, all right, let's get back to this. <laughs> all right, so making molasses coffee, super simple. First ingredient is molasses. You want to get organic molasses. You want to get unsulfured molasses. Really, really important because that means that it's going to be the first pull of that molasses. And so that people miss, and it's really huge, is that if you look, it's just straight unsulfured molasses. Hey, Kira, good to see you. And that iron from one tablespoon is 20% of your daily value. It's also really high in magnesium and it has a good amount of your potassium. So all I use is about a tablespoon, so I just have it in my mug here. I'm gonna put that in. There we go. So I just put that on in. Now at this point, I add in some sort of a Vitality oil. Today I'm gonna be doing Copaiba Vitality. It's really wonderful and soothing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna open it for Thanks so much. And I just love the way that it tastes, honestly. Um, it comes from the Amazon and there it's used primarily for things like sore throats and just helping anything respiratory wise and side note extremely helpful with muscles this is one of the ones that i love to rub on the muscles when they're feeling a little tight so i'm gonna do two drops in there thank you so much love okay then the next i'm gonna add is my hot water so if you're gonna do hot water you want to make sure to do it filtered you want to keep it as clean as possible we want to keep all those wonderful things that we're putting in our bodies to be just healthy and strong. Plus, it kind of defeats the purpose when you're using tap water for a healthy application, right? So, now it's on there. The last thing I'm gonna put in is coconut cream. And that's it, it's just those four ingredients together. So with the coconut cream, you wanna get it unsweetened. Super important, guys, unsweetened. You can use coconut milk. I like to use coconut cream because it's a little bit richer and thicker. And so you just put in as much as you like. And so even at this point, if you were to just see this, and passing, granted without the little piece of coconut cream in there, you'd probably think, oh yeah, it looks like coffee. So that's why we call it molasses coffee. So now I'm gonna just stir it on in there. I don't use any other sweetener. If you wanna add honey or you wanna add maple syrup, you could totally do that. But I like to just take it straight, just like that. And so then depending on how light or dark I'd like to have it, I just add an extra coconut cream. And that's it, just that simple. So. This is something you can enjoy in the morning. Sometimes we'll do this at night as a way to just wind down. Um, some other oils that are really good in here, Thieves Vitality is great. Um, cinnamon bark, if you want to be super spicy, is also good. And so, now we're going to enjoy. So, have a great day, you guys. Be sure to stay healthy and well. And be looking on stories for more highlights from this trip because it's awesome! All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye!